Hey guys, Fernando from Fixopedia. Today we've got a Packard Bell. Uh, this is a Easy Note DT85. The specific model number for this is an Easy Note DT85CT or model number MES2281. Okay, so the problem with this one is that when you start to try and install Windows it goes down, it uh, shuts down, restarts so let's just, let's just see okay, yeah, it didn't even get to the installation so, um, and restart it again Okay. So, I'm pretty sure that the problem with this one is uh, the same problem that normally happens on Toshiba models, which is below the keyboard and behind the CPU, you've got this little token. It's a NEC token uh, 0E907. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna disassemble this guy and uh, let's see okay guys so um, took out the token and I uh, already put on the um, capacitors put in four capacitors four 330 um, that I took out from old boards that I had and let's test it. I'm sorry I didn't film the exchange, but I'll do it on a Tish Toshiba um, very soon. So let's just um, put in some components and uh, test the board, see how it's doing. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so it's installing. I'm gonna let it install, see how it goes. Um, at the end of the installation, I might uh, just do the upgrade to Windows 10, just so I can um, can make the the CPU and the memory card uh, work a little harder. See if uh, the power consumption is uh, all right. Because that's the problem. The, this token, when it when it need when when it needs to use more power, uh, since it's it's not working properly, uh, it can't uh, store so much um, energy, so, and that's why if you change the capacitors, it's gonna work just like it's brand new. So see you in a while. <laughs> 